We are here today to send a strong signal to the head of state, head of government, that we do not want CETA. We want fair uh, treatment of everyone and we want to keep our democratic rights and enlarge our standards and all of that is threatened by CETA. We have hundreds of representatives from local authorities, from NGOs, from members from this parliament to say that CETA is a threat to democracy. In Canada, in Quebec, we have a long experience of those type of agreements. The first trade agreement was signed between Canada and the United States. And you know what? Today, we have more than 35 corporate, big corporations that are suing Canada. And we have lost hundreds of millions of dollars uh, because they're suing us over issues where we have decided to protect, for example, a river. We think that these treaties have been negotiated in secrecy, that the citizens don't know their, their content, and when, when they are made, uh, made public, we see that this treaty uh, threatens basic fundamental rights. As a municipality, it's very key to be part of this movement. Uh, we see first that we, we meet with other cities that are in the same area. So we met in Barcelona in, uh, in April last year and we will meet in uh, Grenoble, uh, so in the French Alps, in February next year. Because it has an impact, those trade agreements like CETA uh, has an impact on food, what kind of food can we bring to uh, in our schools for, for kids, uh, housing, uh, local energy management, water management, uh, waste management, all stuff that are very key for common goods uh, and uh, citizenship at local level. In the Parliament of Wallonia we have said uh, no, if the treaty CETA is signed we uh, risk a major problem in uh, employment in uh, social norms and in, in environmental norms. If we don't speak loud, uh, actually those uh, trade agreements will just go through uh, without further notice. And that's why we have to say no to, to, to CETA and TTIP, uh, and that's a way to say yes to a, to a fair uh, international trade. It's a way to say yes to a local sustainable economy it's a way to say yes to municipal democracy, and it's a, a way to say yes to another Europe, to a different democratic Europe uh, that listens to, to, to the peoples of Europe and to their citizens. Civil society has been at the core of, of building the resistance against uh, CETA and its sister TTIP. It has been a, a really impressive struggle that we managed to build up until now a big movement of local authorities that speak out against these agreements and that are struggling with us together to stop uh, CETA and uh, also other planned trade agreements that would uh, massively limit the possibility for ourselves to decide over our lives.